everyone, I'm a second year medical student, Sarah, in Australia, studying medicine, of course, and we have some really exciting events planned for this week, which are quite unique to medicine and are especially exciting as a second year medical student when we are not in the hospitals just yet. So without delay, I think I'll get straight into this week and show you some of the fun things we get to do. So today is quite exciting. I've just started my very first two day GP placement. It's really basic, just shadowing and things, but I'm really, really excited. So I started last week on my first, my first day and we got to do a whole range of things, which I'll be sure to tell you about afterwards today. And I also made some cupcakes for them. So we'll see how that goes down. <laughs> okay. So I've arrived half an hour early um, <laughs> because I don't want to be late, but we'll see how we go. Um, I might pop in. I know that the, the clinic is open now, so I might give them the cupcakes that I've made and um, see what, what's in store for the day. To start my day off, I was paired with a doctor that I spent a lot of time with the week before. On Tuesday, she does skin checks. Skin checks are a way that we help with preventative medicine and trying to detect skin cancers early using a dermoscope. A dermoscope allows you to zoom in on suspicious lesions and moles looking for signs of malignancy. If anything does look suspicious, we do a biopsy, usually a punch or a shave biopsy, and send it off to the lab for evaluation. In the afternoon, we had a whole range of different consultations. We had mental health, musculoskeletal problems, contraception consults, and so many more. Later in the day, I got to do a practice history taking. So while the doctor was doing a physical examination on the patient, I was asked to take a history. This person had come in with epigastric pain as well as some back pain upon eating spicy food and fatty food with a history of acid reflux. I was definitely thinking gallstones from the beginning and with a few more questions, it was definitely at the top of my list. The doctor then asked what sort of tests I would like to run hypothetically if I'd been in that scenario. So I asked for vitals, um, what, what the results were on the GIT exam, LFTs and a few other things. She was able to give me all those answers and we were right, it was gallstones and she had to get a cholecystectomy. Finally, we finished our day with the cutest patient of all. A little baby boy had come in for his development milestones, so measuring his weight and his height and also to get his vaccinations. It was so cute seeing him all stretched out on this giant paper ruler as he was cooing away and smiling at everyone. And after a little bit of a shock from the needles, he was back cuddling with mum and breastfeeding. Okay, so that's the day done and it was a really huge day fantastic time i i really enjoy all the different types of cases i would say this time around did feel a little bit more exhausting but i think that's just post assignment feelings um but yeah so overall uh that's all i have to share with you and i hope you enjoyed it Okay, so today's the day we have our skills night, which is run by a society at our university and it's, ho it's held for all health students. So anywhere from uh, nursing to doctoring to speech pathology, radiology, we get to come and do a skills night, which is involving hands-on practical skills that we might use in medicine, like cannulations, intubations, suturing, that sort of thing. So it should be really fun and I'll take you along and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. Overall, the night was a blast. We got divided into various groups and started our different stations. I started on suturing, which was so much fun, and I got to practice some of the stitches that I had seen my doctor do in the GP placement. Next up, we did intubation. Intubation was terrifying to look at, to say the least. 
Unfortunately, this is a very specialised skill and it's not something that we'll have to do for a very long time, but we will need to know how to assist people who do do intubation. Up next, we had inserting gastro tubes, which go through the nose down into the stomach. This was really interesting to see as well about some of the problems that can happen, especially when it's misplaced and it ends up in the lungs. Next up, we learnt about a few other things like wound cleaning and dressing, and also some different products we can use to help people who are struggling with swallowing after a stroke. To finish up, we did cannulations, which was really, really interesting and a whole heap of fun. These mannequins have fake veins, so it feels really real. As you can see here, we're still really unskilled at this, so please don't judge our skills. This is the very first time we're touching any of this at all. But overall, it was such a great night and I would love to do something like this again. So today looks like it's going to be quite a good day. We have anatomy first up, but it will be online, which means I can do it from home this time and I can put some Anki cards into the deck. After that, I think while I'm at home, I'll get some cello practice done for a musical that's being run by lots and all different years of med students at university. Then I guess after that, I'll head in for my PBL case, which should be pretty good. Today's anatomy session began with going through some of the basics of embryological and fetal development during pregnancy. As part of our reproductive rotation, we are looking at not only how babies are made um, and how humans reproduce, but also how a pregnancy progresses. And we're just going into our OBGYN section of learning as far as anatomy and clinical studies go. So to start with, we just covered some basic things like gastrulation, some germ layers, which we had already done in the past. This was quite easy to follow through with, and it was such a nice refresher on what's going on. What we did learn new was about the uniqueness of mammalian embryo development and some of the cells and tissues involved. We also looked at twinning. So for example, conjoined twins is usually the result of division later in the pregnancy, whereas if they're completely separated, that happens on in the earlier parts of the pregnancy. And we also looked at how by following embryology, you can see some developmental issues like cleft palate, as well as when you might've heard of when babies have a hole in their heart and they need surgery. That's to do with the fact that when babies are in the wound, they do have a little hole between the left and right atria of the heart. And usually in a um, healthy person, this would close up when the baby enters the world, but in some babies, it, it does need to be repaired. A lot of this was familiar, so it'll, it's just been a nice revision morning, which has been such a relief because I'm so tired. And now we're hopefully going to get some cello practice done on one of the songs that I'm struggling with and we'll try and be in at university by 12 or one o'clock. And so began my cello practice for the day. Apologies in advance for the cellist who can see my terrible technique. I am in fact a pianist by trade, as you can see me relying on the piano during my practice. And for me, this has been such a huge blessing and I've had a lot of fun with some other cellists along the way. day. I'm so sorry I wanted to take you along and explain more about my PBL case but the day just got away from me <laughs> um, and I've just finished gym, got home, had a shower, cooked dinner and now I have to get ready for some study. But overall in the PBL class today we got to watch a birthing video which was quite a shock to me in some ways but also very amazing to watch. I have delivered animals before, but even this was still quite different. And obviously as a female, you sort of feel what it might feel like in your mind and your imagination. And so that can be a little bit scary, but overall it was a very smooth birth. So it was a very good start. Um, and the case today, we had a, theoretically, we had a woman come in who was concerned about some contractions and pain. And we went through a whole list of other differentials and what conditions and concerns we might be looking at, particularly looking for 
um, bleeding or you know, just other signs of more serious things. But in the end, it was Braxton Hicks contractions, which are your pretend contractions where your body's getting ready to go into labor, but it's not going into labor yet. And that can start quite a bit earlier than the labor from my very limited understanding. But this week I'm learning about it more and particularly more about complicated scenarios. So all very interesting, extremely new, lots of study to do, but yeah, so that's it from me today. That's most of the fun stuff done and I hope you had fun and found it interesting. I hope that this has made you think about pursuing medicine or even has given you an insight into what we do. And I'd love to hear about what you do and what you love about what you do. Yeah, I guess I'll see you next time and have a fantastic week. Bye.